Hey everyone, it's Bradley Bush again with another algebra video. Today we're talking about increasing and decreasing functions. So, the to-do list, we have a definition of an increasing and decreasing function. And then we'll talk about some plain English so you can understand really what that means. Because our first definition will be a little mathematical. Let's get started. So increasing, decreasing functions, I bet you guys in general are pretty solid on this. So let's see if we can get a little more mathematical. And when we get mathematical, we end up starting to generalize instead of being very concrete. So think of your function. Let's talk about our first one will be the increasing on the left here. So if your function is increasing, say our function is f. We're dealing with f right now. It's the red curve right here. And if you have an increasing function everywhere along its entire domain, then certain properties should hold. So for example, say you have an x value. We call that x value x1. We don't know what x1 is. We're not going to give a value to it. It could be 5. It could be 2. It could be something. But here it just looks like it's positive, but really it doesn't matter. It is just an x value. And if we shoot that x value up to the graph of f and over, we'll have the y value. The y value is the same thing as f of x1. That's just the y value that's associated with x1. So we have an xy pair right there. We also can do the same thing with x2. So say we have another x value, and we're not going to put a solid value on it we're not going to put we're not going to say it's 5 or 10 we just are going to call it x2 we will say though that x1 is less than x2 so that means x2 is to the right of x1 x2 is bigger than x1 that's the only constraint that we have here so if we shoot x2 up to the y-axis, we have its y-value, f of x2. So if x1 is indeed smaller than x2 and our function's increasing everywhere, what can we say about their y-values? So in other words, if we're looking at these x, these y-values, there's, there's y1 or f of x1. Here's y2 or f of x2. What's the relationship? One must be bigger than the other one, or are they equal? And we would say that f of x1 is less than f of x2 because it's smaller. So the English version of that is as you move left to right on your curve, so in other words, as we're moving this way on our curve left to right, our graph does what? Our graph goes up. If we have an increasing function, then as we move from left to right on our xy plane, our graph will go up. There you go. There's your English version and your mathematical version. So we have corresponding versions of this more mathematical version for decreasing and constant functions. So let's deal with the decreasing function now. Again, we have our x1 and x2. And we are saying that x1, again, is less than x2. So that means x1 is smaller than x2, or to the left on the number line. So if you wanted to say x1, for example, was 2, x2 could be, say, 7, whatever. We're not going to give numbers to them. But if you want to imagine them representing numbers, you can think of something like that. So x1 is to the left of x2. And if we looked at their associated y values, there's the y value for x1, and here's the y value for x2. So how do their y values relate? How do they compare? Well, if we looked at them, we would say that f of x1 was bigger than f of x2, because it is. That's higher than this is. So in an English version, 
we would say as you move from left to right on your graph, so we're moving this way, what happens to the y value or the curve? The graph goes down. Awesome. As you move from left to right on your graph, the graph goes down. We have one more. Let's deal with the constant function. So again, we have our x1 and we have our x2, and we are saying that x1 is smaller than x2, so it's to the left. For a constant function, what happens to the y values? What happens to the corresponding y values? Well, here's the y value for x1, and here's the y value for x2. Well, you can see right here, they're equal. So for a constant function, f of x1 equals f of x2. So in plain English, as you move from left to right on your graph, your graph does what? Your graph stays the same. remains constant. It doesn't go up or down. It stays right where it is. So here's your definition of increasing, decreasing, and we threw in a constant function there for a bonus. Hope this was helpful. If it was, subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.